Are you ready for sleep? Yes. Oh. Oh. Where's your mom? Oh! Baby, I'm here. Oh. This is your lunchbox. Oh. He's not yet ready. No, he's ready. Oh, I, I can help you. No, don't worry. Oh, I'm good. No, oh, babe, you just keep your breakfast for him. Um, I'll eat something when I get to the office. Let's not argue over that breakfast again, alright? Office. So office. you're now married to the office, right? I am not married to the office. I'm married to you. <laughs> but don't worry, when I get to the office. Alright? Say so. Yeah. <sighs> alright. So, uh, 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 no pack for me. Bye. Alright, so. Hey, hey, Katie. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, darling. How are you? Come on. Surprise, surprise. Surprise? So, what's the surprise all about? I told you I was going to give you a surprise today at home, remember? Yeah, it was a surprise about. <laughs> well, let's just say you just got yourself in your star. <laughs> I. <laughs> I, 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 I don't understand. What's there for you not to understand me? You told me some days ago that your accountant will be resigning from his job, right? So I thought to myself, since I'm a chartered accountant, why don't I come and fill in for the position of this same accountant of yours? <laughs> no. So I brought this. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, you, you see, babe, see, I mean, we have talked about this. We have discussed about this before. Discussed about what? It can't work. I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is, uh, the, the, I mean, the company's uh, policy, I mean, uh, recruitment policy. Th that, that's what I'm talking about. We've discussed about it before. I'm, I'm not getting one thing you're saying. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that the company's policy for recruitment or, I mean, for employment, uh, the policy says, no family member, I mean, no close associate, no family friends, no relatives, nothing. So it's not going to fly. You're my wife. It can't work. Are you serious, Nelson? Yes, I am. This is my husband's company. You have the right to fire and hire. So why would you tell me that you cannot take me for a position in your company? Where do you want me to go to? <clears throat> Sweet that's it. If you're looking for a job, I would definitely get you a job, right? I'll get you a job, I'll go through my contacts. I have friends, I have friends everywhere. I'll go through my contacts and I'll contact one or two of my friends and I'll tell them I need a job for my wife. And definitely I'll get you a job. But working in this company, TKD, no, it is not going to work because the company policy says no family member, no friends, no close associates. You cannot hire me as your wife, but you can take some outsiders. I can't even hire anyone from my village. Did you get it? You need to speak him. Oh, this is not I know. Thank you. And where's my son? And where will your son be by this time? Pamela, I, I asked you a simple question. And I answered you with a simple answer. What's the difference? Pamela, this should be the last time I will ask you a question. And you answer me with a question. By the way, what was that stone you pulled in my office today? Have you lost your manners? You have the guts to come to my office seeking for a job without informing me. Huh? Bully! You walked into my office seeking for a job. Didn't we sleep in this house together? Did I not wake up from this house before going to work? 
I mean, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you inform me you were coming to my office? Huh? You know, now it's saying, at times when you talk, I, I wonder if you're actually the one talking or something is talking to you. I, 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 you stupid. Are you okay? I, 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 are you mad? Huh? Are you mad? Do you know who you're talking to? Me, Nelson, the CEO of TKD's Holdings. You, you're talking to me. You have the guts to talk to me like that. I'm asking you something and you're asking me the same question back. You have the guts. Put on the lipstick, everything, and now you have the guts to walk into my office. Come to look for a job. Without this one, we did not sleep in this house together. Why don't you do Pamela, I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. I mean, you should know by now that I have a short fuse. You know, I, I didn't plan to hit you. But the way and manner you talked to me, that was why I did what I did. I'm really sorry. You shouldn't have talked to me that way. No, say. Did you just say the way I talked to you? Tell me, how did I talk to you? In what manner did I talk to you that made you to hit me? Why would you hit me like that? I said I'm sorry and you should forgive me. If you don't forgive me, who else will forgive me? I'm sorry. That's what you keep saying all the time and yet you still hate me. Just leave me in your face. That's why I said I'm sorry. But I promise I won't do it again. Okay? <laughs> he has no right to lay his hand on your face. Ah, I wonder why you're not thinking of suing him. I cannot do that, Maureen. For Christ's sake, he's my husband. Oh, please stop making excuses for him. Why would he slap you? That's so wrong. Yes, I know it's wrong for my husband to hate me. But come off it. I have my own thoughts too. I said some hot things to him. I pushed him to the wall. He couldn't have just hit me just like that. There she goes again. So, what are you saying? Take action immediately. I can't. I cannot. I can't sue my husband. Maureen, he's been begging me. He's been apologizing. He has asked for forgiveness. What did you want me to do? I have forgiven him and I am ready to leave it at that. Period. <sighs> Meanwhile, what do I offer you, please? Can you stop looking at me like that and just stretch your face for once? Baby. Yeah? Are you aware your friend beat Pamela last night? You mean Nelson beat Pamela? You're not aware? I'm not. So what happened? Tell Nelson not to ever try what he did again. He slapped my friend on the face. What? Man, this is serious. Why would Nelson do such a thing? Look, if he wants to beat or punch, he should go and get a punch bag or rather Meet Anthony Joshua on the ring. This is becoming too much. He's hurting my friend. <sighs> well, um, you don't have to worry yourself much about that, okay? Tomorrow I'll go over to his office and talk to him. Okay. Come on, chill. I know you I know I know you don't want to see your friend hurt in any way. It's okay. You know, man, sometimes he can be going through some mental stress to deal about, okay? 
Sister never told me that uh, you were going to come to my office. Actually, I never told her I'm coming here. So I hope there's no problem. There's a little problem. What was the problem? You see, because of the pandemic, I lost my job. That is why I'm here. Yeah, the pandemic, it affected everyone. I mean, this uh, coronavirus and everything. I mean, it shut down so many businesses. We're well, lucky we're still operating. I thank God your, your business is moving. You see, I've searched for a job for weeks now. And I'm yet to find any. And bills are piling up on me. I'm a man. I need to do something to help my family. That is why I am here to see if I can get a job. <laughs> Well, uh, Joe, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I mean, you can't get a job in this company. I'm sorry. Why? I I saw a job vacancy from this company online. Oh yes, actually, we 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 put it online. You know, put for it. You know, vacancy online. Yeah, we decided to put it online. You see, this this company has a policy. Well, we have a policy. We don't um, we don't employ family members. You know, we don't employ any relatives in this company. That's just the company's policy. Uh, I am really sorry. I mean, your sister would have been working here if you know we were employing people from our family. But you see, we did not uh, employ her because we don't employ our family members. No, but she's my wife. Uh, so there's no way she can work here. So I am very sorry. Maybe you just have to keep trying, try somewhere else. Uh, but, but yeah, I am really, really, really sorry. You can't get a job from this job. We just put up that on, the, on our website. Uh, when attracting family members. Mm -hmm. So why did you send your brother to come to my office? My brother, what are you talking about? Come on, don't pretend as if you don't know that he came to my office. Well, I don't know about it. I'm just hearing from you at the spot that you're telling me that he came to the office. Yeah, you sent your brother to my office to come and get a job or to come and look for a job. How many times have I told you? How many times have I told you that it is not going to work? It can't work, so why did you still send him? And now you're pretending, denying you didn't send him. Honey, you're not listening, are you? At this point, the only thing you're talking about is rubbish and ranting without listening to me. I just told you that I'm not aware of my brother coming to your office. And that's it. I just... You're telling me I'm talking any nonsense, I'm talking rubbish, I'm just ranting. Is that what you're telling me? Me, me, me. The CEO of TK is holding. You're telling me that I am talking in the nonsense. No, but you're, you're, you're making sense. I'm making sense now. Yeah. I am making sense. After I have told you that nobody, it's a company policy. Nobody, nobody, nobody. None of my family members can work in my company. Don't you get it? None of my family members, none of your family members, none of my friends, none of your friends can work in my company. It's a policy. Get it up here. Are you dead? Sister, ever since I lost my job, things have been very tough for me. Yeah. And ever since then, I've been looking for a new job. I've been trying to get a new one, but it's not been working. It's not been easy. It seems every company now is concerned on laying off their old staff. Then employing a new one, I don't know. What is going on? I mean, that is terrible. Very, very terrible. My bills are piling up. I need to renew my rent in a month's time. Money for foodstuffs, 
I abuse everything. I don't know. I can't even take care of these things. That is why I went to your husband's office to see if I can get a new job since I saw their advert online. My dear, my husband will not even accept me to work in his company, not to talk more of you. That's a wrong story. But that bothers me. Does it mean only outsiders are allowed to work in the company or what? Well, that's what he wants. That's what the, I mean, the company policy says. That's very bad of him to make such a decision. I'm telling you. Anyways, I'll give you some money to use to that some of your bills. That's the least I can do for now. Sister, you know how I hate getting handouts from people. I like working for my own money. I know. Trust me, it is not a handout. I am just giving my younger brother something to use and hold on to for the moment. Use it and sell some of the bills, that's all. Please, ah. so somebody else about it. I'll just go in there and get it for you. Seriously, Pamela, you need to confront your husband about this issue. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Confront my husband? Listen, seriously, men prefer women who give it to them hard way. You think you're being too soft on your husband? That is why he's doing all this rubbish to you. Let Frank try such for me. I will show him hell. What do you want? Will you tell me, do you expect me to force Nelson to do what he doesn't want to do? For Christ's sake, that company is his. He made the policies, not me. I know he's saying you should force him to do anything. Hmm? Mommy, this young man has been handling this company with his late father even before they married me. What do you want me to do to chop my head or cut off my head inside the company? What do you want me to do? Listen, you have a say in that company. You are legally married to Nelson. You have a say as to what happens in that company. Alright? Let's pray for my dear. Wake up, baby. Uh, but, but you slept early last night. You slept early yesterday. I don't understand. Are you not counting how many times I've slept in the year for me? I just told you I'm tired. I need to sleep. Are you fine? I'm fine. Stop it. I just told you I am tired. I want to sleep. And here you are trying to caress me. I don't need it. Please. Stop it, Nelson. Just stop it. Why? Because I will not be letting you touch my body from today onwards. Don't touch me. Why would you let me touch your body? Huh? Come on, come on. Get a job for my brother. It's as simple as that. Give him a job in your company. Why are you so heartless? Why are you so stingy? I mean, are you trying to blackmail me? Well, you can call it whatever you want to call it, but it is not well, blackmail. You shut up and do what I ask you to do. Excuse me? I said shut up and do what I ask you to do. Do you know what? I am leaving this room for you. You can have it. Let me leave it alone now. Let me leave it alone now. What are you doing? Eh? Don't leave me alone now. Please. What are you trying to do? Do you want to make me? That reminds me. Is it true? True, what is true? Is it true that you beat your wife again? Who told you that? My wife, of course. Your wife? Yes. Why can't you tell your wife to mind her business? I mean, I mean she should just mind her business and let my family know. Have you been to that? Nelson, you know your wife and my wife have been friends for a very long time. They have known each other since ages. <clears throat> okay, I want you to tell your wife this. I am married. 
Your wife is married to me. Your wife is married to you. Can you just tell your wife to mind her business, face her family, while my own wife and myself face my family? I mean, she should stop proposing in my family business. Well, very well then. If you ask me, I think it is very low of you. I mean, a man of your caliber. Come on, man. Well, I'm asking. How can you turn your wife into a punching bag? It's, 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 it's uncalled for. I mean, your wife, your soulmate, the bone of your bone, the flesh of your flesh. Nelson, as a husband, you are supposed to be protecting your wife and not the other way around. It is not cool at all. It's not cool. No, now. Don't be so now. Man, come on now. Think I'm now. Uh, anyway, um, I have so many things to do at the office. I have to take my leave now. Please, take it easy with your wife. To avoid her, I know. Please, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, please, please, I, I, I'm begging you. Uh, please, I'm sorry. I, I will repeat it again. Please forgive me. Forgive you. Yes. Please. But you do the same thing every time, and you still apologize to me after hitting me. Does it make sense to you, Nelson? I, I, I promise. I, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. I'm, I'm not going to do it again. It's a promise. Okay. I promise you that. And for the job, I am going to get you a job. I don't need it. Get it for my brother. He needs it for me. Okay. Um, I'll get your brother a job. Hmm? I'll, I'll talk to my friends. Uh, so they, they will let me know where they have vacancies so I can now. <laughs> yes, I, I promise you, I'll, I'll get him a job. My yeah. friends will definitely get a job for him. Thank you. So, have you forgiven me? Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm very So, tell me how it's going today. I'm about <coughs> Ma. Nelson. Oh, yeah. Hope everything is fine. Yeah, everything is fine. I'm good. I'm just thinking on how to get um, the job for my brother. Anyways, I brought a business deal. But before I go further, Nelson, what is the problem? Like you look so worried. You know, I'm just trying to <clears throat> to see if I can get a job for my. For this guy. Which guy? Uh, my brother-in-law. I don't know if you have a vacancy in your office. <sighs> well, I can't say anything about that now until I get to the office. Check it out. All right, good. Thank you. Yes, both uh, Nelson. Come to think of it. I've been wanting to ask you this question for a very long time now. Why have you decided that none of your family members or your close friends will not work in your company. Like, I don't understand. What point are you trying to prove? Well, Frank, you won't understand. The truth is, you won't understand. So, please, just, uh, when you get to your office, just check if there's any vacancy. It's okay. If you, if you, if you say so. Babe, uh, you have to tell Joe, I mean your brother, mm. or tell him to bring his CV. 
uh, there's a vacancy in my friend's company. Uh, let me try it and see if um, he will get a job there. Really? Yeah. <sighs> okay, I'll tell him. Thank you. Right, good. No. no, I'm opening my eyes. Please, I'm very tired. Can you stop it now, say? I'm tired, please. I'm, I've been working my ass out since today. Oh, yeah. Huh? What's that nothing for? What's what's? Is pitching me now. Sir, because you're here now. No, 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 please hold it. Hold it, please. I, I, I can't carry it right now. I'm so tired. Carry it. I can't deal with it right now. Please just stop. Just deal with it. You do fast. You do what fast? Fast, fast. Don't waste time. No, don't do fast. I don't have to. Uh -huh. What is your problem now, Nelson? I'm tired. Pamela, let me just put it up. You can't put it and bring it out. I won't waste time. I'll jump it. It can't even open. You can't even penetrate. It can't enter. It's tight, I beg. Oh! Yes, I'm looking for my top. No, I'm looking for my top. I don't want now. Oh! Um, Nelson, are you sure these girls are still going to come? Well, the truth is that they don't have any reason to go. Well, they don't have any. Yeah, okay. Not big guy. You know, I really don't trust those girls. They act funny at times. Well, uh, every, every woman acts funny. Uh, so you won't blame them. That is just their... Uh, their lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Here they are. Bye. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi. 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 How are you? I'm fine. Uh, you will be the complainer. You best laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what took you guys so long? Like we've been waiting for you guys forever. Uh, come on, get us two more glasses. Traffic. 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 Yeah, we're waiting for you guys always. Ah, ba, ba, ba. Two glasses. Two glasses more, please. Yes, what are you doing? I told you I don't need to think. This is not in my office. Can't I tell you that? Yeah, yeah, you told me. But Mr. Terry. You make me so what do you want to do? Good afternoon. What the hell is going on here? Who are you? Who are you? Well, since you want to know, I am his wife. And who the hell are you? Ask him. Uh, I'm not going to talk. And you, don't go to the Tell me who the hell you are. What you want to do? I haven't gotten to that yet. Can you listen to me? He hasn't gotten to that yet. He hasn't. Now you tell me who is he? You were talking to me. No, see, you just called me my name in front of that, that idiot. That demented buffalo. You just called my name in front of her. What are you doing in my office? So now I have to take permission from my husband before I come to see him in the office, right? You mean he's cheating on you? I saw that maggot in the office with my husband. I can't believe it. And you didn't beat the hell out of that girl? You allowed her to walk away just like that? Come off it, Maureen. You know me. I am not a violent person. But I do not waste time to tell you to shreds when I see you as a mate. Oh, please. Don't give me that bullshit. 
can you see some girl messing with your husband in his office and you allow that work away? Oh, Maureen, I did not see them pants down. I mean, yes, they were in a compromising position, but I didn't really catch them red handed. Man. Man. Look, Pamela. You have to do something really quick before that idiot snatches your husband away from you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, babe, she no rich. I mean, she's not even up to it. She no rich to collect my husband from me. Hati bing. Hati no pinko. She no rich. I swear. I'm too sure, my dear. I am too sure. I thought for when it comes to this thing, I'm very sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boy. How are you? Come Dad, Dad, welcome. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's fine. Come on, come on. How are you today? I'm fine. Dad, are you still going out today? No. Why are you asking? We came back home earlier today. Well, so you see, this is how I... You know, I, I do come back, you know, sometimes. Okay? Dad, that's not true. Are you not saying I'm lying? No, Dad, I did not say so. You didn't say so? Yeah. And you know Daddy cannot lie to you? Yeah. So I came back early and I do come back early, right? Yeah. Good. I come on board. Let's go inside. I just want to tell you something. Funny, you're so funny. Yeah, but, 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 but that was exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, baby. Yeah. Are you aware your friend is cheating on Pamela? How did she know that? Pamela told me. She met the girl in his office. And uh, did Pamela see them making out in the office? Not exactly, but we are adults. We know when two adults have something going on between themselves. Okay. okay. Are you trying to tell me you're not aware of all this? No, not at all. You know, my friend Nelson, he does his thing secretly. I'm not aware. Okay. I guess that's the more reason he doesn't want his wife and family members come close to his company. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe you have a point there. Nelson, who was the girl I saw you with at the office? Who was she? Shut up, stupid question is that. And why do you want to know her? Why do I want to know her? Yes, why do you want to know her? I have every right to know the lady that I saw you at the office with. Who is she? You are my husband, I have to know. Oh, you're now cheating on me, right? Okay, okay. You are now cheating I, on me, right? I am not cheating on you. I know that is all you want to hear. I am not cheating on you. Ah, you are so cheating on me, Nelson. You are! Well, you have not answered my question. Tell me, who the hell was the lady I Okay, fine, she's office? a friend. A friend? Yes, a friend. Me? What type of friend is she? Tell me a type of friend that will be in your office by that time of the day. In a compromising situation, do I look daft to you? Do you realize you're talking to me, your husband? Do you know it is me you're talking to? Of course I know I am talking to my husband in whom I am well placed. Okay. A man who is good and cheating on me. And let me tell you something in case you've forgotten. If you think you will keep cheating on me with other women and I'll just be here with my ass and be watching you, you lie. You know why? Because you're not the only man in Lagos. You are not the only man with a long thing in Lagos. Uh -huh. Yes. So you want to start cheating? Oh! How about you be cheating on me? What do you mean by that? You just heard me. You heard me. What did you do? You were not cheating on me. You were not me. You stupid. Now then, I don't know you to be a beast. What is going on? What is going on between you and your wife? Frank, I don't want you or anyone to interfere in my family business, okay? 
This is my family business. Let me run my home the way I want it to be. Right? So I should allow you beat your wife to death? Is that what you want? No, I did not say you should allow me beat my wife to death. But all I'm saying is no one cares. No one cares to know what she did. All they care about is you're beating your wife. You're always beating your wife. That's all you people care about. No one wants to know what she did to me. Or what she has done. No, sir. I am disappointed in you. Yes. You are the man. Take responsibilities. Likewise, I'm disappointed in you, one. I mean, everyone nothing, nothing, nothing. No one gets to know what she did. All this is, you're beating your wife, you're treating her badly. No one gets to know what she did. It's not my fault. I don't know, don't, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare come and interfere in my family business anymore. It's not your family, it's my family. Let me run it where I want to run it. It's my business, not yours. Look, you have to leave this marriage. Marriage is not a do or die affair. Maureen, divorce is one thing that I do not want my son to experience. I can't leave this marriage. Don't you get it? I'm hoaxed. And what about your life? Wait, you want him to beat you to death before you do the needful and walk away? God forbid. No! God will forbid except you do something. A man beats you the first time, you still stayed and gave him the opportunity to beat you the second time. Hold on, what are you waiting for? Till he beats you to death? Maureen, for Christ's sake, it is still too early for me to consider separation of the force. It's not too early, my dear. Wait, do you ever think he will stop beating you? By God's grace. No, it's only like by God's grace. They don't ever stop. Once they start, they continue. Listen, the day Frank lays a finger on me, that's the end of the marriage. Huh? Hey, Sandra. I want you to do something for me. Now, me, what is it? You remember that guy I came to your house? That guy now? This guy again, huh? The one I came to your hotel with, Nelson. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, I know him very well. Yeah. I want you to help him up with him. What? Oh. Uh, Can you get your hands off my arm? She wants to beat me again. Mama, I know I have. I have killed you. And that's all I have disappointed myself. And I promise you, it is not going to happen again. I will never lay my hands on you. This is the same thing you tell me all the same time that they beat me. What's the difference? I know. <laughs> But this is just the last time, okay? I will never ever lay a finger on you. <laughs> but the promise I'm not to do it again. Yes. You know what, Nelson? I think it's high time you walk on the temper issues. Because it is getting out of hand. Yes. You need to walk on it. Yes, seriously, I'm willing to walk on my anger issues. I can be sorry. Don't want to forgive me. That's all I'm asking, and that's why I'm I just wanted to forgive me. That's why I I had to buy this this expensive gift for you, so you can forgive me for everything, so for all the things I've done to you. Please accept my gift. Accept it and forgive me. I am sorry. Like like I said, I will never ever lay a finger on you. You love me so much and yet in Elsin you still cheat on me. No, I don't. I swear to God, I have never and oh. I will never cheat on you. Never in my life I've ever cheated on you. You can as well swear with your balls. I mean, I knew you were going to deny it. I'm not surprised. I am not denying anything. I am telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. 
You can swear with my balls if you want me to. Please, I promise you, I will never, ever hit you again. Have you ever asked yourself this question? I mean, do you think Frank beats up his wife? And yet they live in peace and harmony? Douglas, can you just stop? Can you just stop this comparison game? Please. Can you stop hitting your wife? Like I said, I will never hit you again as a promise. And I won't do it again. I cross my heart. I won't do it again. How do you expect me to collect it? A very expensive one. It's a little beautiful one. I know you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, you know you are sitting and talking. Is everything okay? You don't understand. I'm still thinking of that offer that aunt told me. I'm still thinking about it. You suppose you know now nah, that offer is so tempting. Okay, do it. It's not me. Um, hey, babe. Yeah? Are you still in the bedroom? Oh, yes, I just wanted to take my bed. You want to join me? <laughs> no, you don't need I just did. Um, I wanted to find out from you. Would you like to have some dinner? Yeah, that's a good deal. Okay. No problem. Mm. What is it? What? 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 No, say! Wait, what is it? What? You didn't tell me your girlfriend's name is Lisa. What are you talking about? What are you talking about is that you got the same jewelry you got for me for your sad chair. And she's telling me to kill you. How dare you go to my phone? No, say, how could you? How could you be so mean and wicked? You got the same jewelry you got for me for your side chick and here you are giving me that pretentious look on your face. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, I don't. Take the same jewelry. I don't need it. This one is nice. This one go. Huh? This one looks okay. Take. <laughs> Take this. That's my husband's side chick. The one I told you about. That lady. Yes. Then let's comfort her immediately. No. Calm down. We don't need to. I mean. We do not even have enough proof, so trust me, she's going to deny it. Look, stop being this peacemonger and diplomatic. I am not. All I am saying is that we need to catch them red-handed. So this is where she lives. Okay? So what's next? Well, we can't confront her now. We have to go. We'll send someone to keep an eye on her. Do you have someone who will be able to do the job? Of course I do. Really? Mm-hmm. That's good then. Right. I'll deal with this bitch later. Okay. Um, wait, 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 Maury. Look, look, look at the gate. Mor 
Maureen, Maureen, wait! Maureen! Maureen, Maureen! Eh? What are you doing with a married man? You just trust me. Leave me! She's not wetting. What are you doing with a married man? If you know how to keep your man, you wouldn't have come to me. Not to I'll talk. give you one, please! Not to Frank! Talk. Frank! It's, it's not what you think, actually. She She's nobody to me. She's just a friend. She's just a friend like this! You're just like this! Friend. I am highly disappointed at you. But I, I say so. She's just a friend. Babes, babes, talk to your friend now. Oh, hey. 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 Will you get your hands off me? Ma, I am in a big trouble. I'm in a mess now. Let me just calm down. Calm down and tell me what the problem is. I don't know how it happened. It, 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 it happened so fast. My wife saw Lizzie and I together. And ever since, she has been threatening with fire and brimstone. And you just take it easy. That's not just take it easy. Take it easy and make me understand. Come on, Nelson. Come on. This is too bad. I mean, I was... Oh, my God. <laughs> the problem you have is that you don't know how to take things calmly. You don't know how to be calm and make things, you know, easy so I can understand. Let me understand. Nelson, your wife was there too. It was your wife and my wife that saw I and Lizzie together. Don't you get it? Okay, my wife and your wife um, saw you and Lizzie uh, together. Do you what? They saw I and Lizzie holding our hands together, walking out of their compound. And your wife and my wife stormed in on us from nowhere. This is a serious case, oh. They saw you and Lizzie coming out from Lizzie's compound and they stormed into you guys just like that. And so? So? Is that what you're saying? And so? What do you mean by and so? You know you see sometimes, but you don't understand, you don't get the point. The point is the silent that even if my wife catches me, if my wife should catch me right now, kissing a girl, do uh, you understand? Kissing a girl right in front of her. I'm going to look her straight at her eyes and tell her I wasn't kissing the girl. Yes, I'm going to be telling her. I was down and say I wasn't kissing the girl. Oh, okay, yeah, the girl was giving me a pair. Fine, that's it. So, I mean, so just because your wife saw you holding hands with Lizzie, I said, let me tell you. You just have to maintain your stand and tell her, I mean, what she thinks she saw is not what she saw. It's as simple as that. So because your wife caught you with, or saw you with Lizzie, your ears shaking like, 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 like a drenched guinea fowl. Nelson, my wife is not daft. The picture made it all clear to her. Or do you want me to look my wife straight into her eyes and tell her what she saw wasn't real? That what she saw was a mirage? Look into the eyes. Look her into the eyes. Look her. Uh -huh. Open her eyes, look into her eyes and tell her what she saw is not what she's thinking. Guy, come on man, just go home, go home and fix your home. Uh, fix your home. I mean, look at just your wife saw you with a lady. I mean, are you the first man? I mean, uh, his wife is seeing him with a lady or something like that. Come on, go home and fix fix things yourself. Tell your wife what she saw is not what she's thinking. So just go look her in the eyes. Look at her face to face, eyeball to eyeball. And tell her what you want to tell her. Uh -huh. She see you with this in her head. Hi. Hi, Rose. Um, how are you? I'm good. Why are you on so early today? Okay, I just came back early, so uh, you know, I can take you out on a very, very special date. I mean, just a put to Well, I am sorry to disappoint you. I am not going anywhere with you. Not after what I found out today. I won't go anywhere with you. What you found out? What, 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 what did you find out? That you and Frank are dating two sisters. Now you tell me. Whose opinion was it? Yours or Frank's? 
I truly don't know what you're talking about. You truly do not know what I am talking about? Yes, I don't know what you're talking you about. You look me in the face and you still lie about this? I said I don't know what you are talking about. Oh. Well, I just want you to know that Lisa and Lizzie are no longer secret. So you can continue. Good evening. My love, I, I am so sorry about what happened a few hours ago. You see, I have nothing to do with that girl. She is just a friend, nothing more. Really? Yes. What do you take me for? An idiot? Don't say that. You were begging her to satisfy you sexually. Oh. That's because you couldn't get it from me. That's what she said. Were you not there? Don't mind whatever she said. She just wanted to get under your skin. Oh, please, spare me that bullshit. Look. I will never allow you touch me again. What? I won't allow you infect me with STD. Ah, oh, my love, come on. Come on, I, I haven't slept with any other woman ever since we got married. I have never cheated on you. I will never cheat on you oh, in please, any way. Oh, please, stand out of the beds of the air. Come on. I am going to the restroom. I will never sleep on your bed again. Your phone is in the kitchen. When you're ready, you can go and eat it. But my... Hey, look, come on now. I, I am telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. When you find it, it's difficult to... Oh, God. I don't think I said it. My love, my love, please come, don't do this to me now. Come, please go, my love. Hello, Liz. Yes? Listen, listen, listen to me. Stop calling me. In fact, henceforth, do not call my line anymore. You want what? You want some money, like for real? Like you have the guts to call me at this point in time? After what happened a few hours ago to ask for money? Don't call my... Don't call my line anymore for now. Yes, until I fix my home. Lord of mercy, mm. Christ have mercy upon me. told me you actually don't do service. Yes, I've officially become a job seeker in this country. We had our POP uh, two days ago and it was all over in the news. Well, I'm not actually a news person, but all I can say is congratulations. Thank you. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, how are you? 
Hey, Dog Darling, I've missed you. How are you? Oh, so look at you. You're now a daddy. Yes. Wow. So now you can now ask me for a job and I will definitely get a job for you. I need a job sharp sharp. And you will definitely get a job sharp sharp. <laughs> oh <laughs> my oh, god. Let me get you. Um sorry my bad. What should I get? I am really famished. I need to eat something and I need to just rest. I am really, really tired. You're, you're very Seriously. Right. You need it. So I'll go in there and then fix up something for you. Okay. Before you go to your room. Thank you. I'll be right back. Tell me. I really miss you. Good morning, Uncle. How are you? Very well, thank you. You're leaving for the office already? Yes, I am. I'll see you later. See you when you get back. Okay, you will see me before you get back. Oh, whatever. I'll see you Okay. Nelson, there is fire on the mountain. <laughs> what is it again? Do you know my wife no longer sleeps with me? She now stays in the guest room. <laughs> what, just because she saw you with another woman? Yes. <laughs> That I have been sleeping around with different women. <laughs> that she will never allow me to touch her again. No, don't worry. Babe. Don't worry, she's going to come around. She will still come. She'll come begging. That's one thing you should know. She'll come begging, don't worry. Huh? <laughs> Nelson, this is not a laughing matter. I know. It's not a I know, but don't worry. She's going to come around. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, I'm here. Miriam, yes, on, when did you come back? It's not been quite long. Wow, you're welcome. Thank you. And where are you coming from? Home. Home. And why are you here? I came because of what we discussed. You said you're going to give me a job. Sharp, sharp. I said I am going to get you a job. I did not say I am going to give you a job. Uncle, what's the difference? The difference is that I am going to get you a job means I'm going to ask one or two of my friends for a job. I mean, to get you a job. That's it. That's the difference. Ask people for a job when you have a company. Okay, I have a policy in this company, okay? The policy I have in this company is that none of my family member is going to work in this company. Yes, that is certainly not in this company, but I am going to get you a job. Uncle, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that I'm going to go through my contact and I'm going to look for friends and ask them to get me a job. That's it. So that's the difference. Oh my God. Because I have a company, so everybody wants to work in my company. All my family member wants to work in the same company. They won't kill me to that. So as I was saying, the, your, your, your... Auntie, I want to tell you that I'm leaving today. You're leaving today? Why? What yes, happened? I went to see uh, 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 my uncle in the office and he's telling me that I cannot work in his company. Your uncle said that to you? Why? He did not give me any tangible reason. He only said that his relatives or close friends are not going to work in his company. That, that's his company policy. I don't understand what kind of policy is that. You mean your uncle told you this? Yes. Just policy, no concrete reason, nothing. I, I am so tired. I am just sick and tired. I don't know why he's doing this. For crying out loud, why will he be doing this? What is wrong with him? Huh. Miriam, please calm down. I will talk to you. Trust me. Please, you don't need to leave. If I don't leave, what will I be doing here? I actually came back for, 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 for me to work. I mean, he's, he's not ready to give me the job that I want. So what, what will I be doing here? I'll talk to him. <gasps> please, Miriam. For my sake. I mean, this is so crazy. This is really, really crazy. Why will he be doing this? You mean he told his niece the same thing? Oh, yeah. He told his niece the same thing. Yeah. I thought this company's policy of a thing was just to me and my family members. I never knew Nelson extended it to his own family as well. Why would you give the young girl a job? Why? It's not making sense to me at all. I don't know what is wrong with my husband though. 
I don't. What exactly do we call this? I don't know. I mean, you know the one that really drives me crazy? It's the fact that Nelson pays very well. He pays his staffs very well. Why can't you hire your family members? Why? Why won't he pay well? When the company is immensely doing very well. Mori, you're not getting it. This is this is problem for me and my family. Nelson is not just accumulating enmity within himself and for me, but with his families. They are very angry with him because you don't hire people that's from your family, but you can hire outsiders. Does that make sense to you? Mori, come to my age room. I feel like my husband is going crazy. I'm telling you. And you said he was the one that sent her to school? Single-handedly. I mean, he was the one that made sure that his niece went to school. Now the young lady is out of school. Why don't you just give her a job? There's a vacancy in his company. Come on, Faith Maureen. She's the best person to fill in for this position. And yet Nelson is not giving it to her. He's not. You have to talk to him. Talk to who? The one that listens or the one that doesn't? Make him listen. How? I should go on top of him and maybe grind him the whole night, right? And then chew off his mouth. Maybe he will listen by then. My sister, please, where is drink? My head is about I'm to speak. Oh. Yes. Mm. So tell me, babe, how was work today? Oh, well, interesting and um, challenging. Today was so stressful. Very stressful. Sorry about that. Well, um, Miriam came back on time today. I mean, she came back very, very furious and hungry. Furious. And what happened? Because you promised to get a job for her and you were not fulfilling the promise. What is wrong with everybody? What is really wrong with everybody? I did not promise to give her a job in my company. I only said I was going to walk towards it. See, let me tell you. I have told you this thing before and I'm still telling you guys. I mean, we have a company policy. It doesn't relate to when I tell you that I'm going to get you a job. It's different from I'm going to employ you in my company. No. Okay, it, it, it is not. I mean, what I'm trying to say is this. What I'm saying is that the, the company policy says no family member, no relations, no close friends should work in my company. That is the company policy. That is the company's policy. Can you hear yourself talk, babe? Now you tell me, how can you have a company and not even one single of your family members are working in that same company because of your stupid evil policy? You should fling it off, it doesn't make sense. Hey, enough of that. Enough. Go and establish your own company. Go and establish your company. When you establish your company, then you do whatever you want to do. Okay? You can go bring all your friends, bring all your family members, go to the village, pack all your villagers and come to that company to work for you. What is wrong with you? Establish your company and see what I'm telling you. It's a company policy. And you don't expect me to bend you because of my family members. Uh, we, we, we're not done talking. The, the, the dinner. The dinner? What dinner? Go and bring your village with all of these families. Bring them. It's a feast for your village food. Eat the food and tell them how to hold it. Help me. Help me. I, 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 I love. Baby. Frank, what is it? It's already late. Why don't you come inside and sleep? I'm not ready to sleep now. If you want to sleep, you're free to. Baby, I already told you I am so sorry. I told you I have nothing to do with that girl. I'm sorry about everything that happened. Please believe me. And the truth of the matter is, I have been masturbating for the past few days now. I've been masturbating and it's, it's not good for my health. Just that I missed you so much. Stop doing this to me. Stop doing this to us. Please. Go and tell that girl I saw you with. And tell her you have been masturbating. 
I don't know why you're bugging my life. You know where to get it. Baby, stop talking like this. I told you I have nothing to do with that girl. Please, believe me. You want me to believe you? You think I'm stupid or what? You are not stupid. Then let me be. Frank, I will never trust you again. Okay. Okay, my love. I'm gonna tell you the truth. And nothing but the truth. Let me confess the truth to you. I didn't know how it happened, but it just happened. It was my friend Nelson that introduced that girl to me some months ago. That's the truth. So, you have been sleeping with her since then? Just twice. Frank. Baby. That is the truth. And I am so sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. I, I don't want to lose you in any way. I told her to stay away from me. And I have deleted her numbers from my phone. You can check my phones. I, I can get my phones for you to check it out. I, I also blocked down the social media everywhere. Because I don't want to lose you. I want to lose you in any way. You, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me in my whole life. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Please, my love. Please, please. If I am the best thing that has ever happened to you, why did you get yourself involved with her? Why did you let her into your life? Like I said, it, it happened. Just the way it happened, I can't, I don't have logical explanation to that. That is why I'm saying I'm sorry. Go to the hospital. Run some tests. Do HIV tests and STD. Okay. I will, I will. First day tomorrow morning, I will. Okay? Of course I will. Thank you. Um, why don't we go inside, please? You, you can't stay here, is it? It's, it's already here in the, in the middle of the night, please. Why don't we go inside? Babe. Yes? I wanted to talk to you about something. You heard it. It's about me always staying at home. I mean, the only thing I do in this house is just take care of our son and practically do nothing else. And it's very tiring. So? What do you mean by so? What I am saying is I've been submitting my service to different companies and different firms, but nothing is forthcoming. It's not working. You have to do more. I do not need to do more. No, I don't need to. It's either you give me a job in your company or you give me money to set up a business. What are you saying? Do I have to cut off my head for you to know I've been doing more or I've been trying my best? I'm going to give you two million naira so you can do whatever business you want to do. Really? Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Um, um, how is the family doing? Oh, everything is fine. 
Have you gotten the job you've been looking for? No, sir. Um, that is exactly why I'm here. You see, Joe, I, I have told you that there is no way you can get a job in this company. It's my niece, my niece, my niece that graduated a few weeks ago. I mean, someone I trained from her first year till she graduated. I mean, she can get a job in this, in this company because that is the company's policy. We don't joke with it. No, no family member of, of, of the company should be employed in this company. Even though she saw the, the vacancy positions on our website, she came here and I told her it wasn't going to be possible because that's a strictly the company's policy. Okay, okay. Take for example, your sister. Your sister was looking for a job. She even wanted to work here. But because she's my wife, it wasn't possible for her to work. It is strictly company's policy. So you don't expect me to bear the company's policy to accommodate you. No, it's not possible. I can't do that. I'm sorry. On the contrary, sir, I am not here for the job. Oh, that's cool. Are you so Yes, um, sir, sir, I actually come to tell you that I have a business plan. I want to venture into business. Poultry farming, to be precise. Oh, that's good. That's yes, good. I have the business plan mapped out already. And, um, I have a place I will use for the business. The only thing I need now is capital. Money. Yes. Money. Um, sir. I need like 1.8 million naira for the business. And I have roughly 300,000 naira. So if I can get 1.5 million naira loan from you, I will be so grateful. Then I will kick off with the business. It's okay. Yes. So the business is uh, 1.8 million. Yes, and in eight months' time, I'm going to pay you back. Uh, but the business is for 1.8 million. Yes. And you have 300,000 naira already. Yes, sir. That's okay. That's good. That's good. I mean, venturing into a poultry business is a good one. So I have heard you, all right? Uh, I will put everything into consideration and I'll get back to you. It's a promise. I will get back to you. Thank all you right? very much. So why did you tell your brother to come to my office? My, my brother, what are you talking about? Really? You mean Joe? Do you have any other brother? What did he come to the office to? You're asking me. Like you didn't send him, you're looking me in the eyes and telling me, asking me stupid questions. Babe, I did not discuss with Joe coming to the office for any reason. Oh, I can't remember doing that. Because I told you that I am going to give you two million naira to start up your own business. You decided to inform your brother. Rope him in so he can come and take his own share of the national game from me, right? What nonsense are you talking about? You think I am stupid? You think I am a fool? Huh? So let me tell you, if I am talking, just keep quiet and listen to me. I should keep quiet and listen when you are accusing me wrongly. I have the right to talk to tell you that I did not do what you are accusing me of. I did not plan anything with... He says, why are you screaming? Did I accuse you I'm telling you something? You're telling me I'm accusing you. Did I accuse you I'm telling you something? Yes, did you just slap me? Oh, you came. I am done with this man. You want to tell me? I cannot continue living like this. I want to go. Then good, go. I said go, 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 go inside. Pack your things and leave my house. And don't you before you're leaving. You see that car you're driving? That car belongs to me. I bought that car with my heart and money. So if you're leaving, drop everything, everything I got for you, and leave my house in peace. Nelson. Yes, I'm telling you that. And also go to your brother. Tell your brother. Tell your brother not to come to my company. My company is in the bank. Warn him not to come to my company. Okay? And, 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 and the two million naira I promised you, 
Don't ever think of that one because I'm not going to give it to you. Alright? I will give it to you. You fell stupid and selfish woman. What what are you says? What have I told you? What have I told you? Why are you so mean? Why are you so selfish? Tell me. Why are you so mean? You're still talking to me. I have the right to talk about this guy. Look, I've been telling you this that you don't need this marriage, but you won't listen to me. What if you had hit your head on the wall when he pushed you? Would you be alive to be saying all this? Maureen, what would you have me do? What would you have me do? Apart from beating me up, he also collected my car keys. And I have nothing but a little man with me. I don't know what else to do. You need a job. Yes. You need to be financial independent. Look at me. I am a practicing lawyer. I earn my own money. I don't depend on my husband's money. Look, the mistake you made is waiting all this while to work for his company. Since he doesn't want you to work for his company, go elsewhere to look for a job. But I have tried. And you know, it's not really easy out there. It's not forthcoming and I keep talking to my husband, but... I need your credentials. Mm -hmm. I want a land case for a very big client of mine. Her name is Ada Jones. I'll introduce you to her. Alright? I'm sorry my credentials are with him. Go and get it from him immediately. Yeah, what is it? Babe, I'm looking for my credentials. I can't find the original copies. Where are they? How dare you march into my office just like that? Are you having to Are you stupid? Are you okay? Huh? Am I okay? Did I just hear you say your office? 
Now, just leave this office before I call the security men to take you out of this place. Oh, please, come off it, Hobby. You don't need to do that. What? I would leave your office. But just before then, I want you to take a look at this. Look at what? This. And where did you find us? Reality check, right? Oh, baby. Who is your baby? Don't you dare baby me. You psychophant. Look at you. Nelson, how could you be this callous? Tell me how. You knew this company belonged to my father years ago, and yet you were not one thinking of doing anything to let me know about it. Why? Explain me. No, no, no. Keep your shitty explanation to yourself. I do not need it. Please do me a favor. Shut that little thing between your face. Now you listen to me. I am giving you 48 hours to return this company to the rightful owner, which is my father. Else, who will be written in court. And I mean everybody I say. <laughs> Unless I forget. You see this? You can keep it to yourself. Because I have the original copies which you hid in your briefcase. See you at home, mommy. Honey? 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 Oh, she's not taking my call, she's not even answering. Where could she be? I don't know where she is. Are you sure you don't know where she is? Please, I want to see her. I need to see her. Nelson, trust me. I don't know where she is. Have you tried reaching her on the phone? I've been calling her. She's not taking my calls. Did you have a fight with her again? Oops. Sorry. I mean, did you beat her again? What have I just done? How did she find out about this document? Oh my god, I am finished. If she goes public with this document. Oh god. Where do I meet her? To, to, to. Where, where? where do I meet her? Where do I start from? How do I handle this whole matter? Good morning, Mr. Nelson. Good morning, Martha. Yes, Mr. Nelson. Thank you. What about my wife and my son? To answer the last question, your son is doing just fine. My God. And my wife? My client wants to take over the ownership of her father's company. Your client? Yes. Mrs. Pamela Wanchuko is my client and I am a legal representative. Oh, Maureen, it hasn't got into that. Back to what I was saying. Your wife, my client, wants what is rightfully hers. And if by tomorrow it's not done, we shall proceed with a lawsuit against you. <sighs> All right, Maureen. Maureen, yes. 
You need to calm down. Now let me break it down for you. But before I do that, why are you doing all this? Pamela is my wife, legally married to me. Okay? So whatever belongs to Pamela, my wife, belongs to me as well. Well, let the court decide that then. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. Sorry. I mean, it hasn't got into that. It hasn't got into us uh, going to court to settle this whole thing. We can settle it out of court. I thought that Exabi is company. While he was sick, he called in your father to manage the company for him while he recovers. But eventually he died. And your father, out of his own greed, converted the company and all its assets to his name. Something he should have held in trust for his friend. You came in to manage the company before your father died. And I'm sure your father must have told you how he acquired the company. I presume you knew everything that happened and that is why you don't want your wife or anybody close to her to work for the company. You see, uh, truly I know all this. I know. And trust me, I have been working planning for something better. You're not planning or doing anything with Nelson. Tomorrow we shall be here for the takeover. Have a nice day. Frank, Nelson. Frank, Nelson, what is the matter? I am telling you to go and talk to your wife. Go and talk to your wife. What did my wife do? Nelson, go and tell your wife to stay away from my family business. Okay? Let her stay away from my family affair. At, 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 that she shouldn't have anything to do with my family. In fact, let her stay away from my wife. Please, I am begging you, tell her not to dare me. She shouldn't dare me. I'm just warning you to go and warn her. Tell her to stay away from my family business. Because she wouldn't like what I would do to her. But Nelson, what led to all this? I just told you something and you should just take that message back to your wife and tell her to stay away from my family. Huh? Let her stay away from my family. Nelson! Nelson! What? What actually happened? Honey, what exactly is going on? What do you mean? Nelson, my friend, came over to my office and he sounded a threat at you. He threatened me? Yes. He said you should stay far away from his wife, Pamela. Like, what is going on? Because he sounded so upset and bitter. Honey, sit down. I'll explain everything to you. Sit. Come on, yes. Nelson. So this company does not belong to you in the first place. Is that what you came to tell me about this? Nelson, I saw the documents. This company belongs to your wife and her younger brother. Leave my office. Nothing. As a good friend, and not just a friend, as a brother, I would advise you to let go of this company before you drag your name through the mud. And for your own good, for your reputation. Frankly, you need to leave my office, Frank. Well, I have spoken with my wife and from what she told me, she and your wife are so determined to go to any extent to make sure your wife gets what belongs to her. So I would advise you to give it up. No. I built this company. I built this company from the scratch. I made this company what it is today. I made this company to become this household name. Household name. Yeah, everybody's saying about this company. I did it. 
It is my company. I own this company. And I'm not going to give it up. You were watering the wrong grass. Delta. Yes. Irrespective of everything you have done for this company, irrespective of every ideas, energy, tactics, and everything, you just have to give it up. Because the legitimate owners are coming to take what belongs to them. They won't can you just frankly leave my office. Just leave my office! This company belongs to me, and I'm just going to take this company away from me. It is my company. I built this company. I made this company. And this company is going to still be under me. It is my best child. You ready? Yes, I made this company. You know why the company belongs to me? I have told you what I told you. Out. Think about it. Just get out. Get out! All of you! So, do you know me? Do you know when I was building this company from the start? Nobody was here! Nobody, nobody, nobody came to help me! And now they're all coming to say this company belongs to me! Belongs to who? For what it takes, what rightfully belongs to me. And I can't bear the shame. Imagine this scandal. What will people say? They will mock me to death. The CEO of TKD Holdings Nigeria Limited loses his office because he is not the rightful owner of the company. The company actually belongs to his wife's father. The press would have a filthy writing nonsense. Even my competitors, those I trampled upon, will make life a living hell for me. How do I face all this mess? What could have made him not to come to the office today? Ah, come off it, guys. I mean, isn't it obvious? He cannot stand us. He's avoiding us. He won't do this hide and seek with me. He has to come out and face it. Nancy, 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 